Yo, what's up guys, it's Jack and welcome back to another video. And I know I'm late to the party when it comes to the subject that I'm gonna discuss today, but in this one I'm gonna discuss why I'm interested in the Nintendo Switch. Now, ever I think uh, the GameCube was probably the last quote-unquote traditional console that Nintendo uh, released. And that was many, many years ago. And ever since then, Nintendo's pretty much been beating, uh, was has been moving on to the moving on to the beat of their own drum, and uh, they had the Wii, then they have the Wii U, and now they have this, and it's almost like a hybrid console in a sense. You can take it with you on the go. You can hook it up to your TV. You can still do kind of the uh, some of the things that you did with the Wii. So it looks like they haven't really abandoned that, but whatever it is, what it is, but. I am still interested in getting this console and let and I'm going to explain to you the reasons why and first and foremost nostalgia. The other day, actually I think it was last week, I was looking at the Nintendo store and there are a lot of games in the Nintendo store that I basically grew up playing and you can basically download them and play them onto your console. I think it's either for the Wii or the Wii U that you can only do that now. Um, and I know it's not the complete list of like all the games ever released for Nintendo ever, but there are a good amount of those games that I grew up playing that are absolutely nostalgic to me. For instance, and that's a big deal to me, for instance, uh, I own a lot of the movies that I grew up uh, watching as a kid, and it's uh, they just never get old to me. So uh, I love having them and I love watching them, and a lot of times I'll have it, I'll have a movie playing in the background while I'm gaming a lot of times, especially if it's a casual game which I don't play as many casual games as much anymore, but I grew up playing the hell out of Nintendo. The SNES overall throughout my years is probably my overall favorite console. I can't say the Nintendo 64 because out of peer pressure, I bought a PlayStation 1 instead of a Nintendo 64 when I had the choice of which I wanted. And uh, I don't regret it, but at the same time, I, it's what I wanted, but peer pressure got the better of me. But at the same time, I was introduced to Duke Nukem, which uh, was the first game that I bought for my PlayStation, which is uh, Duke Nukem Time to Kill, and I was actually very surprised of how graphic that game was and how, uh, you know, all the themes in it and everything. But I loved it. I was in 8th grade. I was all about it. Uh, plus, it was back in 8th grade, you know, uh, during that during that time in your life. If you're in the 8th grade, you're going through a big transition in your life as far as uh, getting older and growing up is concerned and uh, your primary interests. But <laughs> back on topic here, Mario looked amazing. Mario Odyssey. Zelda looked amazing. And you know Donkey Kong is coming sooner or later. And a lot of the old school series are coming. Like, you know there's going to be a Mario Kart. You know there's going to be a Mario Party. And these... And I miss these games. Even though I don't play them that much anymore. Actually, I don't play them at all because I don't have a Nintendo system. I really miss these games because I, I miss the SNES. And the thing is, I've just been too wrapped up in first-person shooter games and... Call of Duty and now Halo for now until uh, until COD gets his act back together which will hopefully be later this year but uh, I really miss it and the thing is all and I looked at some of the games on the Nintendo store I mean come on Turtles in Time was absolutely epic for the SNES uh, there's another game called Demon's Crest which I really like my friend and I, my friend and I beat, beat that game and it was really really difficult and really really long uh, all the old Star Wars games I mean, the Mar the old Mario Karts, the old Mario World games, Super Mario Wor World, and I mean, uh, and 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 let's 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 rem let's remember that I've always wanted to play N64 games, and they've released them on the Game Boy Advance, so therefore they're also on the Nintendo Store. And overall, for nostalgia reasons, I want to play the newer versions of the older games, and I want to download the old games that I grew up playing, and the old games that I never had a chance to play because of peer pressure and choosing to play a PlayStation. To buy a PlayStation when I was in eighth grade instead of an N64. So, uh, my thoughts overall are that they're trying to also attract traditional console users as well as the people that were really, really much into the change, like the Wii and the Wii U. And they're basically kind of like trying to combine the, those two groups of people. Uh, Trying to trying to interest both of them in buying the console, and it's not that expensive of a console, and it doesn't, you know, it, it is a powerful console, but it's probably not as powerful as a PS4 or Xbox One or 
you know, or when the Scorpio comes out, God knows. But um, I want this console because of the games that I grew up playing, and the and I want Super Mario Odyssey, and I know Donkey Kong is coming, and and I know there's going to be other games that are coming as well. So, and I really have been in the mood to play casual games, and Mario is something that basically I stopped playing around the time the N64 come in, came out for reasons that I already <laughs> that I already said. So, but I've always loved Mario. They've only done better with it. Donkey Kong, I absolutely love the old Donkey Kong games I grew up playing, and I really am feeling nostalgic, and I want to play them again. And as a matter of fact, another big reason why I want the the Nintendo is also because I want to stream it. I want to stream those casual games and just relax and play the game and stream and and kind of uh, we can kind of go back and forth and collaborate with collaborate with you guys. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not streaming Call of Duty or Halo, and that is because well there's not as much interaction because it requires me to focus so much on the game, especially Halo, which I absolutely suck at compared to COD, but I am working on getting better and I'm having and I'm enjoying it, so but I really would love to stream every single time I just get on to play the casual game. Like when Mario gets released, I would like to just come home, which which I hear is around Christmas. When Mario gets released, Mario Odyssey, I would like to just come home and stream it and just you know talk to you guys you guys can kind of get to know me and we can collaborate back and forth so because those are the games that are fun the funnest to stream i imagine so and i've always enjoyed playing games with other people watching especially if it was one of those casual games because that's how I, I grew up with my friends and we we played we used to every time we die we'd give the controller to somebody else to take over so anyway I, I pretty much ran out of out of time for this one guys uh, those are my brief thoughts on the switch and why I want it and why it interests me so uh, I know I'm late so I apologize about that on the subject but uh, that's pretty much it and as always I hope you enjoyed the uh, gameplay in the background um, if there's anything you want to say in the comments as always please let it be known down below And as always if you liked the video let me know and if you didn't let me know what I could do to make my videos better and I'll catch you guys on the next one